uh, what's not fresh is the Gardner Expressway, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, and what to do with it. This debate is really stale, to be yeah. honest. Oh. Uh, it is one that's been going on for years and years and years. And what happens is once you feel like it has been settled, what to do <laughs> with this downtown expressway, uh, again, we come into trying to reopen up this debate. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, the Infrastructure and Environment Committee at City Hall, they met, and there was an attempt, there has been an attempt to try to reopen the debate, and let's look again at what we're going to do with the gardener. They decided yesterday, we're not reopening this. Mm -hmm. It's done. Mm -hmm. We've spent over half of what needs to be done in terms of repairs on the mm -hmm. gardener, and so we can't go back. Mm -hmm. we're, in, we're in too deep. And so uh, there has been this conflict about whether or not the Gardner Expressway should just be rebuilt, as it has been since 2016. They've been making these giant yeah. repairs, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, yeah. Steph, mm -hmm. uh, over Sorry, in the sections. east yeah. end of the, of mm -hmm. the Gardner. Uh, they are doing this section by section, uh, actually lifting in mm -hmm. brand new pieces of expressway dawn over the last few years mm -hmm. and putting them in place. It's a puzzle. Yeah, yeah it is, definitely is. <laughs> and so it's like, it, it, so now drivers have spent so much time off of the expressway or on reduced lanes while this construction is going on. And there's still this call to just demolish it completely. It's oh. elevated over the lakeshore. Uh, there is a call to <laughs> demolish at least a portion of it in order to bring it uh, to lakeshore level. And this is a debate that's been ongoing. Steph, your face is like, curious. can we end this now? Traffic expert. Well, I mean, like, can we end this now? But also, can you imagine not having an alternative to Lakeshore? Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Like, the, the, Queen, the, Queen, the Queensway is not even an option. Queen's is not an option. Like, it's just... I can't even imagine uh, demolishing it. I feel like that's out of the question. I really feel like it is about, you know, really it's about who's going to pay for it and fund it. Like, that is the core, that is the issue that they want to resolve. Right. And I think, you know, I know that they've been trying to pass it off to the province or even to other municipalities because they say, you know, it's not really Torontonians using the Gardner. Mm -hmm. However, we also can't live here. It is too expensive to live in the city. So, I mean, we need access to get in and out. So I feel like it should still fall on charter. But I'm biased. Well I, I'll tell you, and again, I'm still kind of maneuvering and feeling my way through the city, but for example, and we did take Uber, maybe this is where I got, you know, points deducted, uh, <laughs> but because there is so much construction along Lakeshore, mm -hmm. um, our Uber driver, I don't know what happened, they were kind of given the, you know, the uh, GPS version of going on the Gardener, which again took us sort of back further than we needed to be, but it appeared that that might have been the easiest route, because mm -hmm. a lot of times what will happen is GPS will take you on the route that makes the most sense mm -hmm. based on traffic accidents and all that kind of stuff and so we actually did end up in the gardener mm -hmm. and then I'm like okay bye-bye Hotel X like we backtracked yeah. to get there <laughs> but it seemed to me like that was the necessary alternate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes it is sometimes it's about getting onto the gardener for 2.2 seconds and getting right back off on Lakeshore mm -hmm. and it yeah. makes a huge difference Right. Huge. And so uh, with you being from Vancouver as well, so you're noticing the construction, the construction obviously for being me a problem. is huge right yeah. now. Like, I can't believe how long it's taking. And I, I acknowledge this is a bigger city than, mm -hmm. than Vancouver, so of course you've got to leave more time. But I am astounded at how much construction, even drivers that I've been with have been like, oh, got to go a different way. Oh, yeah. got to go a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's is like, is nothing open? It feels right. like nothing is open. It's just so old. It's it, so old. It's old. And the Lakeshore City News has been doing a series. Yeah of stories about the east end of the lakeshore and the fact that there are doubling up on construction mm -hmm. projects so it means it's taking people hours literally three, three hours, hours to get it. from point a to point b along a short like maybe a couple kilometers of the lake heard someone yeah. saying that they're pregnant and they were stuck oh, in yeah. traffic yes. for like that's three it. hours i, I mean like, ah, that's crazy mm. uh,